Um, you look like Sasha Gray. You look like Sasha Baron Cohen's <laughs> skin. <laughs> Anywho, Scott Corker, everybody. <laughs> it's the good one. It's the good eye. Are you Now, everybody knows I'm an arty guy, and I have developed this new form of stand-up comedy. It's called collage comedy or cut-up comedy, in which I take these various jokes. Some of these are uh, what we comedians call street jokes, not the pharmaceutical break humor you used to for me. And uh, some of them are jokes that I've stolen from other comics and cut them up and put them in here. We have the premise, the setup, and the punchline. Now speaking of stealing a joke, here's a joke I stole from Chris Davison. I condensed it, cut it up, and now I'm going to put it into my bag. This comedian was raping a monkey, and the man asked the prostitute, how much is your monkey? Jews. <laughs> Punchline, that's pretty much it. Set up. And premise. So who would like to come up and pick their own joke? Jake, come on up here and get a joke, buddy. Come on, get a joke. I will do it. Hello again. <laughs> the premise. Oh, we already did this one. This is comedians right in the monkey. Let's do it. I still gotta pick things randomly. Your mother's so dead. <laughs> yes. The setup. The prostitute says it'll be double for that. And the punchline. <laughs> a Jewish prostitute. Who would like to come up and pick another joke? Anyone? Oh, well, oh, we got a race here. It's the bad Sherpa. The premise! A black guy, a white guy in Indian were a balloon. I knew you'd pick some racist material. And Jimmy Swaggart asked the prostitute, how much for your daughter to watch while I masturbate? And the punchline. You might as well wine me, dine me, and roofie me first. <laughs> Another great joke. Well, you want to come up and do a joke. <laughs> Try not to pick something as, as racist as, uh, as Chris did. Yeah, one of these days, they're all, it's all going to be Jews. One day, a man came home and was greeted by his wife dressed in a very sexy negligee. The setup. And Patton Oswalt said, I'm not dopey, I'm grumpy. And the punchline. Hey, that's my asshole. <laughs> What's up? Oh, come on up here. Come on up here, Blair. Still playing with invisible wieners? <laughs> the set, the press. Mean Joe Green walks into a bar. The setup. And the man tells the prostitute he wants a half and half, a blunkin, and an around the world. <laughs> Dirty joke you're telling. And the punchline. Spit it out. It's a piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Would someone else like to come up and tell you a joke? Anybody? Oh, oh, there you go, Drew. Come on up, Drew. <laughs> the Prince! A comic was raping a monkey. <laughs> the setup. And the patient walks into the therapy session without any pants on. And they never found his wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Would someone like to come up here and take a joke? You, sir. The sort of the gay lumberjack right there. Come on up. <laughs> the premise. 
Your mother's so Republican. <laughs> and the man asked the prostitute, how much to fuck me, the midget, and the monkey? <laughs> and the teacher said, a ruler has 12 inches. <laughs> Who else would like to come up and tell a joke? Anybody? Oh, Chris Davidson, come on up here. Maybe you can find your own joke in here. <laughs> Something some kind of raping month was in here. Three chips were running a train on a comic. You know what the test of that is with the fact what is written on this paper. Hey Bruce, I think I'm pregnant. And the punchline. And he ate a bag of dicks. Freshly picked from his dick garden. That's right. Steven, you want to come up here and do a joke? No. No? no. How about Shane? Uh, oh, come on, Shane. Uh, here we go. I don't think I have anything about butt rape in there, but. Yeah. A man goes up to a prostitute. A good premise for Shane. I am a prostitute. Did you it. And when your mom goes to the graveyard, that's Barbara Bush's syphilitic vagina. <laughs> Lynn, come on up here and get a joke for me, Lynn. We need to pretty this up a little bit. This is, this is getting pretty ugly. Wow. Two eggs and sausage in a pan. And the man orders a beer, and a beer and a shot glass for his leprechaun. And the punchline. Hey, why don't you fuck your own pony? <laughs> Peter, you want to come up here? You're up here. Come on up. And... You're in your uh, ninja gear. As you can tell, you just like disappear when you, you know, sort of. He has a name. The premise! A name tag. Ninjas, most ninjas don't wear a name tag. A Republican in a diaper walks up to a prostitute. The setup! And the balloon develops a leak, and there's only two parachutes to discuss who deserves to live. And the punchline. And she died at home, and the three little kittens ate her face off before the neighbors noticed anything was wrong. <laughs> Hilarious. I knew you'd have one about the kittens eating the old one. Anybody else like to come pick up a joke? Anybody? Look at Jake. I don't have a flashlight. You don't have a flashlight? Oh, you're flashing me? Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close. Uh, Y'all know I'm in a band, right? So I've been, I've been writing some new songs for our new record, Full Retard. And I thought you might want to like hear some, hear some of them, so I've, I've got one of them for you. Uh, this is about a South Carolina national treasure that I did not even know it existed until Crappy the Clown decided to go visit it on his uh, 2010 trip here. And I wrote a song, I'm going to give it to the South Carolina Tourism Board. And this is an actual place that exists, so you can Google this and find out that yes, this place is actually in South Carolina. I was born without original sin, but I've been trying to let some in. But each one I've tried by four, I found someone already done it before. For whole swamp is where I'll be. For whole swamp, it's the place for me. I'm gonna try holes one through three, but then hole four is the place for me. Now to the end, and then hole falls where I'm gonna stay. Clap for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, and he's gone now, so stop. <laughs> but, hey! 
Dean <laughs> Vian. Um, I've been uh, I've been living in Savannah for a little bit now, but I still have.